is our cell video project with me, Joseph, Austin, and Strang. We're going to talk about section six. The mighty mitochondria! And more classes come soon. Oh my gosh, this taco has a bilayer, just like mitochondria and chloroplast. Just like in mitochondria, the outer membrane is smooth and the inner membrane is convoluted, even though they're both responsible with the bilayers and have a unique collection of proteins in, uh, in between. And they have special infoldings called crustae in mitochondria. But of course, this is a taco. Chloroplast looks like a cheeseburger since it has the layers that the cheeseburger has and stacks of flattened stacks. Stacks of flattened stacks. In this case, meat Violet stacks. Violet cords and chloroplast. And chloroplast. Oh wow, it's a chloroplast. Oh wait, it's just a hamburger. It's hard to tell because they both have flattened stacks, which would be like <laughs> violet cords in a chloroplast, but in this case it'd be like the patties and the buns. Also, the different kinds of fluid, like the ones that Austin were just putting on between the sacs, could be a lot like the stroma. And the sum of all these different sacs added together would be a lot like a granum. So if you had a bunch of cheeseburgers together, it would look a lot like the insides of a chloroplast. Look at these convoluted foldings of the membrane in this pocket. This is a lot like how mitochondria have infoldings in their membranes, which would increase the surface area without changing the volume. Same amount of meat, but more surface area. How cool is that? Oh man, that taco was really spicy. Thank goodness I had this soda here, because when I eat something I shouldn't, the soda helps take care of it. It's kind of like peroxide. When you need something that's hazardous to you, it'll help to add oxygen in order to cancel out those hydrogen and make it safer. Also, if I take a huge bite of it, I might need some of my drink to help me digest. In a similar way, peroxidums also are a great with, uh, metabolic agent, but it'll help you to digest food. I didn't see you there. Biology. As we've learned in biology, mitochondria and chloroplasts are essential for human life. They, um, um, uh, uh, um, all right, uh, Mitochondria is a key component in cellular respiration, which basically takes oxygen and organic matter that you eat and it breaks it down into energy that we use for our bodies and waste product carbon dioxide and water. So, you know, mitochondria is like humans and animals like powerhouse. Oh yeah! Chloroplasts, on the other hand, are like the powerhouse for plants. You see, plants take the light's rays from the sun and they convert it into energy through the process of photosynthesis. I shouldn't have ended that word like that. Cellular respiration includes processes such as glycolysis, the citric acid cycle, and oxidative phospholiferation. Glycolysis is on the outside of the mitochondria, while the other two are inside it. Photosynthesis includes processes such as light reactions used by thylakoids inside the chloroplast and... Uh, Mom, I'm filming something. Light reactions and the Calvin cycle. The Calvin cycle is known as the dark one since it doesn't use light. Boom. And that's a good overview on mitochondria and chloroplasts. Now, if you excuse me, I have a hot date. Uh, 
waiting for me. See ya. <laughs> I do, Mom! <laughs>